Get your taste buds ready because today we're going to cook a delicious and a super simple slow cooked ribs recipe. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who doesn't love baby back ribs? They're so delicious, so yummy, especially when they're slow cooked. Now I've done a few rib recipes over the years and this one's just as easy, if not easier, and it can be done in a slow cooker or crock pot. So join me today as I make my version of slow cooked ribs. Now we're going to start this off by making our sauce. So to make our sauce into a bowl, I'm going to place in one and three quarter cups of tomato sauce or ketchup and three quarters of a cup of chili sauce. Now I'm using sweet chili sauce, but you can just use normal chili sauce if you like. Then two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, three tablespoons of your favorite mustard, and finally two tablespoons of lemon juice and simply give it a good whisk until everything is well combined. Now next we have the main course and that's our pork ribs. And look at this, this one's a beauty, isn't it? So before we cut it up to place it into the slow cooker, just we're going to turn it over onto the back because we want to get rid of the membrane. It's just like a film that's just on the bottom part of the ribs. It's chewy, it's kind of annoying and it also prevents a lot of the flavor from infusing in the meat because it's like a protection layer. So I'm going to show you how to take it off. Now with a sharp knife, all you have to do is just score underneath the ribs, just like so. And just keep on doing that until you can get that thin membrane to raise up a little bit. And then just with some paper towel for grip, we're just going to slowly but easily tear off that membrane. Now of course, depending on the size of the slow cooker or crock pot that you're using, I'm just going to slice mine into three equal sizes. And then just give it a quick season just with some salt and pepper. So we're just going to place our ribs into our slow cooker. And then we're going to pour on half of our pre-made sauce. And with the other half, just place it into a sealed container and we're going to place it in the fridge to use later. So now with the slow cooker on low, we're going to cook it away for seven hours. Or if you want to do it on a high and make it a little bit faster, three hours, about three to three and a half hours until it's just tender. But honestly, make sure you try and do it on slow or low because trust me, it comes out so much better. So seven hours on low or three to three and a half hours on high. Okay, so it's been seven hours and whoa, look at that. They smell absolutely delicious. What I really love about slow cooker recipes, you come home and you can smell it throughout the entire house. So what we're going to do now is carefully pour out all this liquid. And with all the liquid poured out, remember the other half of our sauce that was in the fridge, we're just going to pour that on top. Now, it doesn't matter if you had this on high or low, but what I want you to do now is place it on low and we're going to let it slow cook for a further one hour. And once that hour is up, it's ready and it'll be succulent and delicious. Now I've just taken our ribs out of the slow cooker. Once I've taken them out, I've also removed some of the sauce from the bottom of the slow cooker and just poured it on top just to make a little bit extra saucy. Now these smell absolutely mm -mm, delicious. And just look at how easy they come away from the bone. So this is a very simple way, but an incredibly tasty way to make slow cooked ribs in a slow cooker and or crock pot. And if you love ribs, you have to give this version a go because it tastes simply delish. The only thing you need to be worried about is that you don't have enough because you got all your family trying to have more ribs. So you might need to buy a second slow cooker. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below in the description, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another mm -mm, delicious recipe.